Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Ms. Pac-Man for the Atari 7800. And as you can see, the, the cartridge art is pretty similar to the Atari 2600 version, except this one has some slight differences. It's mirrored and it's actually in black and white instead of color. Anyways, let's take Ms. Pac-Man plug it into my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how fun it is. This version of Ms. Pac-Man was published by Atari, licensed by Namco and Midway, and came out in 1984. And believe it or not, this version actually has a level select, including a teddy bear. Ew, seriously? She's gonna eat a teddy bear? And it is for one or two players. But I usually like playing my by myself, so I'll just use cherry level. So yeah, in Ms. Pac-Man, you are ahead again, trying to eat pellets while avoiding four ghosts. And and unlike the original Pac-Man, the fruit actually moves around, and there's more than one maze. You get 200 points for the first ghost, 400 points for the second ghost, 800 points for the third ghost, and 1600 points if you eat all four ghosts with just one power pellet. Normal pellets are for 10, give you 10 points, but power pellets give you 50. You get an extra life when you get 10,000 points. Graphically speaking, this game looks pretty good. Sound and music wise, it does a pretty good job as well. Family friendly wise, this would most likely get an E for everyone rating if it were released today. So what do I think of Ms. Pac-Man for the Atari 7800 Pro System? This is the best version of Ms. Pac-Man that I have ever played so far, besides the arcade version. And control-wise, it's really good. Better than the Atari 2600 version of the original Pac-Man. And it even has the intermissions, which is somewhat uncommon for most Pac-Man home ports. But yeah, so where am I gonna rank this one? Well, I'd much rather play Yard's Revenge at number one, but I will put it over Super Breakout at number two. So out of all the four Atari 2600 and 7800 games that I have ranked yet, Ms. Pac-Man is going into the number two position. This version of Ms. Pac-Man is highly, highly recommended if you have an Atari 7800 Pro system. So what do you think of this version of Ms. Pac-Man? Whether you agree or disagree with me, let me, let me know in the comments below. i also like to give a quick shout out to Norbeacon 9 Entertainment. Thanks, Norbert. If you appreciate the work I do and my Microsoft Agent videos, then please consider dropping off a like and subscribing. So yeah, thanks for watching. And do not eat teddy bears. I'm serious. Teddy bears are not food.